people come in here. We've been very inclusive and always you know, strive to make this a safe space. It's part of our ideology and our business. Weathered Waves is a cider bar in Salt Lake City that expanded its anti-hate speech policy to include not allowing Zionists in light of the war in Gaza. They posted a statement on their Instagram page that has caused controversy. I'm worried about the way this is, hate speech is rising, especially for our, our Muslims, our Arab, our Palestinian customers, and, and our Jewish customers too, who are now being attacked by Zionists. The Utah Department of Alcoholic Beverage Services released a statement saying they received multiple complaints from people concerned about weather waves policy. They say they also notified the Utah Attorney General's office to conduct a possible investigation to see if the bar is violating discrimination laws. I think it's unwarranted. I think it's absolutely uh, ridiculous to say the, the case. They didn't even noti notify us. They didn't contact us at all to get clarification of what was going on. I actually think it's, it's slander and defamation to say we're, we're spreading, uh, discriminating against anybody when we're trying to do the opposite. We're increasing our hate speech policy so no one is discriminated in here. This is an inclusive space. We reached out to both DABS and the Attorney General's office for comment, but could not get an interview with either. Palestinian activist Aziz Abu Zayed says these policies help send an important message. The conversation that stirs, whether positive or negative, will bring attention to the cause, to the Palestinian plight. It will tell people that uh, here there are people willing to go the extra mile uh, to stand with the Palestinians with what no uh, with no profits or gave you know material gains whatsoever the owner of weathered waves michael valentine says his aim is not to target jews but i spoke to the anti-defamation league on wednesday who criticizes this policy they are feigning ignorance and saying that they're banning zionists but most jewish people identify as uh zionists which simply means that they believe in in a jewish homeland in Salt Lake City, I am Maitali Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.